If you want to see how I use these affordable ingredients to stimulate hair growth, keep watching. Jumping right into ingredients, the first thing you will need is rosemary. You can use fresh or dried rosemary, they both work. Rosemary is said to stimulate blood circulation to the scalp, which promotes faster hair growth. It's said to prevent balding, promote shine, treat dandruff, prevent premature grain, and the list goes on. Next, you'll need cloves. Buying these mini jars are not cost efficient. I ran out of cloves, so I had to pick some up from the local grocery store. I recommend buying from your local Indian grocery store or Amazon because it's way cheaper. Cloves are rich in anti antioxidants and nutrients that promote growth and strengthen your hair. Its antifungal and anti-inflammatory agents reduce hair fall, treat dandruff, and promote growth of healthy, thicker hair. Cloves have excellent healing properties and they are said to soothe the scalp while stimulating blood flow circulation to the scalp. Finally, we have fenugreek seeds, my absolute favorite hair growth ingredient. Fenugreek is rich in protein, iron, vitamins A, K, and C, folic acid, and calcium, which are all essential ingredients for hair growth. Fenugreek reduces shedding, prevents hair loss, treats scalp inflammation and irritation, slows premature grain, promotes softness and shine, all while strengthening your hair. Let's talk about how to make this hair growth spray. First, you'll need two tablespoons of cloves, two tablespoons of fenugreek seeds, four to five sprigs of fresh rosemary, or two to three tablespoons of dried rosemary. Then add two cups of boiling water. You can boil it on the stove for five to 10 minutes, but I don't wanna risk over processing the ingredients, so I added boiling water to the ingredients, and I'll let it steep overnight. After it is cooled down, I put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. Then I strain the water and put it in a dark bottle. You wanna make sure your treatment is dark golden brown. This lets you know the ingredients have been fully infused into the water. Next, I pour the water into a dark spray bottle. This spray will last about a week in the refrigerator. If you freeze it, it can last for up to three weeks. I prefer fresh batches, but frozen batches work just as well. Let's talk about how I use the spray. For my scalp, I spray it directly onto my scalp apply an oil, and then massage it into my scalp for at least five minutes. For my hair, I spray it one to two times a week, followed by a moisturizing leave-in cream or conditioner. This will help with preventing any breakage or damage to your hair. A few important things to remember. First, you have to apply this directly to your scalp and massage it into your scalp to see results. The key is to stimulate your hair follicles, enabling them to take in the nutrients in the treatment. Second, do not spray this onto your hair strands daily because this doubles as a strengthening treatment and may lead to breakage or dryness. Depending on your hair porosity and sensitivity, you want to limit the use of this spray on your actual hair strands to once or twice a week, followed by a moisturizing cream to prevent setbacks. Finally, start slowly by using this spray two to three times a week on your scalp. Remember, each head of hair is unique. Some people have experienced shedding, breakage, and brittleness from using cloves in their hair regimens. So you want to start slow so that you can monitor how your hair responds to this treatment. That's all I have for this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Deuces.